Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. Last time we took a look at creating objects in geometry in 3ds Max. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about transforming those objects. So by transforming, I mean moving those objects and rotating and perhaps applying scales to them as well. You'll find your transform tools up here next to the selection selection tools. So again, you got move, rotate, and scale. So just to show you a little bit, every command has its own unique UCS icon. So as you can see, I hover over these different axes, they turn yellow, and that will allow you to move the object in that specific uh, dimension. So one of the things that you can also do is right click on that tool, and it'll allow you to give precise input as well. So I could make this 18, I could change that Y to 30 and change that zero that Z axis to zero and as you see over here it updates automatically and brings that right back to that ground plane now if I wanted to bring this cylinder or sorry this cone right over to our zero coordinate I could easily just punch that in but uh, I'm going to show you another place you can do that as well in here so I want that to be on the zero and the X zero and the Y and notice now that it's right on our, our zero origin. So another thing that you can do is apply rotations to these objects. So I'm just going to go to a single viewport and change this to a perspective so we can move this around freely. I'll just zoom out, get a little bit better, better look here. So if I want to rotate this cylinder, so you can see when I select it, in the command it automatically selects the cylinder and applies that different UCS now to the bottom so again I can choose one axis or I can choose these options down here and change that to say 45 and enter 0 for the Y and 0 for the Z and see what that does for us now again we'd be looking straight on and it's only rotated in that one axis. The other thing that I might want to do is change where this pivot location is. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to bring this back to zero. And I'm going to come up to the hierarchies tab. And what you can do is affect your pivot. So by selecting this option, it changes the pivot and isolates where you're going to be doing your rotation. So I'll just select the move tool and I just want to move this up to the center. So to get an idea as to where the center is, I'm going to change my projection to orthographic. And now I have a perfect elevation of this uh, cylinder here. And I'm just going to move that to the center right there. Now I can uncheck the pivot and I can, of course, bring my projection back to perspective and now I can apply that same rotation and I know that I'm rotating it right along the center and at any time you can reset your pivot back to where it was originally just by hitting this reset button so last but not least we'll come in and do a little bit of scaling so I'll select this box back here and choose my scale command now you'll notice that there's a little tiny drop down here as well so I can scale in multiple axis or just one dimension I'm going to keep it on a uniform scale for the time being but a quick way to change whether you're going uniform or on a single axis is to come around and see what you're highlighting here on the UCS so if you want to choose these two axes you can do that or you can only choose the Z and it'll scale it to give it a bigger height or you can choose all three by the center of this uh, triangle here and it'll scale in all three dimensions so that's some pretty simple stuff for um, applying transformations to your objects one of the things that uh, you might want to do as well is make some make some connections from this piece of geometry to this one so we already know that this is occurring on that that zero origin so maybe I'll just come in here and 
I'll change these to zero, these to zero, and now you can see that my sphere is in the exact lo location as this cone, but now I can just use the one axis to bring that up to where I want it to be. If it's right on the top, now I can see that uh, that object is exactly where I want it to be. And now if I wanted this to say be inverse, well I could simply move that up and then come back to the properties and make this a little bit different. So I'd make this the skinny end and that top radius the wide end. So there you have it. There's some pretty simple transformation of objects in 3ds Max. Next time we're going to take a look at selection sets and different modes of selecting. Thanks for watching.